got too many. Right. What's going on, man? Y'all get in here, man. Hit the like button or something. Game day, we live. Finna talk about pre-game day. What y'all, what y'all game on uh, pre-game game day? Night. Game night. Oh, rituals, <laughs> man. <laughs> y'all come here, man. Hit the like button for us. We ain't had a commit in a while, huh? Yeah, nah, we ain't get a commit in a while. I pretty much knew, like, you know, it's gonna stop, like, short. Our next commit, it probably happened during the season, and then the rest will be like right. signing day. So, what's good, family? What's happening? What's happening? The day almost here, man. A couple more hours. What? Um, let's maybe 24 hours. 323. Kind of weird, man, because we didn't think. Yeah, we didn't think we was gonna make it. We didn't have no football. <laughs> Man, we sure didn't think we was gonna have tomorrow, man. But it's here. Yeah, we ain't twenty three hours. Twenty three hours here. We ain't think we was gonna have no football, but man, I see. From from day one, when I asked when I asked people close to the program, they never wavered, dog. They was like, "We gonna play." And. It was weird because everybody else was dropping off, and then <laughs> COVID yeah, came that back. That is weird because I think like you was one of the only university who was like, "Yeah, man, it's football." Sure. Um, yeah, from day one. Um, they said, the president, what's the pre the president of the school name? I forget his name. Uh, f f uh, Frank's or whatever. But he was very adamant about it's going to be football. Like he's like, "Yeah, right. we doing everything. It's, we doing everything possible. It's going to be football." They never waver, man. Every time I checked in, man, it was like. Now we playing. Um, I think they was just waiting too a lot for to see like what, what the Dolphins do as far as the stadium, because um, they say it's gonna be games regardless. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, so I mean, and Manny Diaz first press conference when he came back. Um, I mean, when he came back, he came back and he said um, um, they asked him, "So, do you think it's gonna be football?" And he was like. Every we like when they meet with the ACC, when they meet with the school, the talk was never that it wasn't gonna be football. It was like it wasn't even something they thought about, which is crazy because we had to change the schedule, we had to do all this stuff. But they was just like, nah, we ACC, we going forward. Um, we gonna play, and SEC, I guess, felt the same way. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I pretty much knew the SEC was gonna play. Like you not finna stop <laughs> the. Um... <laughs> when they call it the Red Conference, you're not gonna stop them guys. Them guys right. gonna play. Right, they, they don't matter. So, um, but what's, ACC and uh, ACC, ACC and SEC, like, let's go. What's the other? What's the other conference that's playing? Cause you, um, you, you got uh, you Conference have... USA playing. You got um, um, who else? What's the what's the other? The a ACC? I think that I think that's it. ACC. The a no no no. We are the ACC. ACC. <laughs> AAC AAC. The old Big East Conference, I think they playing. Um, not a Big Ten trying to get in. They they late to the boat, but they trying to get in. They um, backtracking. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, it's been games being played, and so far it hasn't been any. Um, what is it? Community outbreaks or something? Yeah, like no that? community outbreaks. No, no COVID outbreaks with the players. So. The, the the impossible has also come to be possible as of now. You know, um Right. Very, very now the thing comes is when players are constantly traveling here and there and you know, we what if they travel two weeks in a row, you know, you never I mean, who knows? I, I don't know. I don't know the protocol of the testing. Uh, we just was making jokes like, man, so tell us no players. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Yeah, but, but um, UAB got two players that tested positive that won't right. play. They, they won't travel. They're not playing tomorrow. Non-starters, so um, right. not much of a big deal, but still a big deal. Um, so, you know, hopefully they get back healthy, you know what I'm saying, get back get back on the field. But it's 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 very ironic that <laughs> none of these players are catching this. I mean... <laughs> Right, they kids. 
So it's hard to tell a kid to not go around somebody else. You know, know they what think they're invincible. Yeah, man. And, um, you know, they now they around 80 something players together. And, you know, it, I don't know. It's just hard. But hey, they don't, they not. They made it happen. That's cross college football, yeah. too. You ain't hear nothing. Everybody just like, uh, no, nah, we're going to test yeah, them tomorrow. It's, it's, it's we gonna weird be because then you got like, um, Alabama had got like almost a thousand something students, and then you got other. You them had like almost what two hundred and right. You know, Florida State got like almost uh, like. So what? What, what are the players had like are they like literally separated from everybody <laughs> else? Or you know they ain't in no bubble. J no Love, bubble. what's good, man? Miami's hey. going to play a full season, and then take the best recruit from Pac twelve and the Big Ten. Merck said, yeah, it's crazy. Even though other teams play, kind of feel like week zero again. We the only ones on everybody watching. Yeah, Miami the only game tomorrow night? Yeah, Miami the only big game tomorrow. Um, basically, you know, everything, everything, everybody who played the, the, the previous two weeks was like test, you know, test run, test dummies. You know, so, you know, Miami, we on a spot like tomorrow. Actually, it's not because it's on ACC Network, which is, oh, my gosh. I don't know what didn't possess them to say he put them on ESPN. Ooh. <laughs> like, but people have a problem. It, I think it ACC is. Network? I think it's a Thursday night football in the NFL. So I got guess, and even that, I think that's on NFL Network, right? Yeah. So, um, right. I don't know. We. <laughs> oh, um. I, okay. Now I know why they did because uh, in the, the NBA playoffs is on. Right. Uh, that's why probably why we didn't get ESPN slot. Right, you know, right. Um, but still, like you know, we all should be on ESPN tomorrow. I, you know, but it's, cool. it's on the ACC, ACC network. ACC network. ACC um, network trying to get that money, man. <laughs> well, they got to start. They got to hook up with Comcast or something. Like y'all got to right. get 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 the network on all these other <laughs> cable t- uh, sponsors. Yeah, they trying to get that money, man. Um, but yeah, so. What else going on, man? We got Def Talk. Everybody talking about Jennings, man. I'm not sure where the Jennings thing came from. Uh, man, uh, Bradley Jennings is, is probably our one true middle linebacker. I, um, Corey Flagg's there, but he's a true freshman, so, you know, you don't want to play a true freshman. Right. Not not again, you know. But he's our one true middle linebacker, and he's healthy now. So, and he's a thumper. He thumps everything he hits. <laughs> but we ain't heard nothing about him in the scrimmages and nothing. Well, no, actually, uh, there's a lot of pictures that they kept showing Brandon Jennings, like 44. So I'm like, okay, well, he must be out there doing good. And all of a sudden, voila, he's the starter. Shocked all of us because we had Brooks and McLeod. Right, right, right. So now you got Jennings and McLeod. Right. Brooks and Huff coming off. Coming behind them too. I mean, Brooks, Steed, and Huff. Like now, Steed is healthy too. So right, right, right. We got linebacker debt now. Debt. Right, right, right. Oh, so listen, man, man, listen. First of all, two things. The new King T-shirt we put out, man. Go check it out. Um, is in the description. We'll put we'll put the link in the description. The new King T-shirt we just put out, man. Is 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 Caneville. We created it. It's unique. You know what I'm saying? Man, nobody um, got that shirt. I told y'all y'all was gonna be like, hey, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's on a high quality shirt, man. And and we have three more we're gonna put out. Um, every time there's a win, we're gonna put out another one, um, like a parody of a different player. Uh, you see what we're trying to do, man. But uh, footballville.shop, y'all go cop them shirts. And uh, got Caneville's available. You know, just go to the link, man. Go to the website. Um, support. You know what I'm saying? You got footballville shirts, footballville right. hoodies. Right, right, right. I notice a lot of y'all buy hoodies. You know, we in a hundred degree weather. Like, you know, <laughs> they buy hoodies. buying hoodies still, but <laughs> I got a lot of hoodies. I can't talk. Hey man. <laughs> and the next thing is, man, a uh, couple of y'all been DMing me about the stocks, man. Listen, I put it in the description. It's in most of the descriptions. Country is just capital, CCI, stock market. We have to get into the stock market. Uh, basically we just show you what we're doing and you copy the play, you can get started investing tomorrow. Um like I said, we started the whole thing because of the success we had in the stock market. Um, so just check it out. That link is in the description. It's in the description of most of the, most of the videos because I'm still getting people texting me about it saying they want to get started. They don't know how it work. We, we understand you don't know how it work. That's why we made it to the point where you get a text message and say, hey, this is what we're doing. And you just copy it, put it in your Robin Hood. 
and you just wait. Then you cash out. And then you wait for your next. You wait for your next text until you understand the process. Um, stock market is not down. I mean, it's not down for a normal for the normal person. I know that's what you hear them saying on the TV. It's a lie. It's not down. You know what I'm saying? There's money to be made in the stock market. You just have to get in it. You gotta get in it. That, that's it. So I put both of those links in the description, man. And man, listen, man. When you wake up in the morrow, when I was in the Marine Corps, they used to call it a meal and a wake up. You wake up tomorrow, man. Game day. Um, how many of y'all going to the game? That's what I want to know. I mean, how many people are actually interested in going to the game? Um, you got any homeboys that say they going to actually go? To I the got game? a few that say they going. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, a few of them going. Um, I just, me personally, I wasn't me sitting in there with no mask on for four hours. Right. I know that stadium gets hot. Um, ain't no alcohol either. Y'all know that ain't. Like, <laughs> Miami fans, no alcohol. That don't even <laughs> insist. <laughs> when they said that, I said, you can immediately count half, maybe more than <laughs> Miami fans out. Cause, that's most fans in most yeah, stadiums. Yeah, man, that's, I know it, I guarantee it, because... Miami being one of the only colleges that has a stadium that does serve alcohol at college games. You know, colleges don't serve alcohol at their games. Right. So, man, you know, Miami fans love to drink. Boy, we, we some drinkers. Um, yeah, that's a big deal, man. So, yeah, I wanted to give me a thumbs up in the, in the comment section if, if you going to the plan on going to the game tomorrow. And I want to know what y'all expect. Like, what y'all expect? 13,000 13, people get loud? 13,000. Hey, man, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's, you know, you got uh, the rival fans. It, they make jokes about you on stadium being empty. I know we have been in the stadium when it was half empty, man, <laughs> but it still be loud. You know, so, um, especially the way they got the stadium set up now with the covering, the half covering on the roof. So it's going to be loud if it's 13,000 and us, you know. Now, depending on how, how they can scream with the mask on, but right, <laughs> they say, "Hey, keep on your mask." I'm telling <laughs> you, they, they say they will kick you out if you don't have your mask on. That that's just all bad, man. Ain't nothing good coming out of that. Yeah, man. So you know, COVID really screwed us a lot this year, man. But hey, we got football tomorrow for people, man. I know y'all been waiting. We've been waiting, excited about um, you know, our T-shirt, the guy on our T-shirt. You know what I'm saying? Kane Dub, what's up? Kane Dub said he'll be at the game. <laughs> J Love said he had the game. Them all subscribers, man. Look at all the subscribers with the badge. J Love said he had the game. Mute. Hit the like button and share it for us. Share the video for us too, man. Put it in your Facebook or your TikTok or whatever the heck you be chilling on. Instagram. Let the people know we live. Um, oh, the boys said they're going to the game, fool. Uh oh, hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, for the ones who got them shirts, you know, y'all can take pictures with the shirts, you know what I'm saying? We're going to post them on our Instagram page, you know, tag your name, Twitter. Right. You know what I'm saying? For showing love. You know, you get pictures at the game, post them all, you know, hey. Tell me this. What, 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 what do you expect to see tomorrow? My expectations tomorrow, okay. Let people know what you expect. Starting to see off from a UAB, I didn't see anything that. Spark anything where they should, should be playing on the same field you want. Um, with that being said, they're still a Division One college. Um, first game by UM, it's going to be sloppy. Why do you think it's going to be sloppy? Because uh, game is always sloppy. You know, um, we we only what three weeks or four weeks of practice. Yeah. So. Um, no spring, it's gonna be sloppy. You know, um, new offense, new few new players. Gonna be, it's gonna be sloppy. I don't expect it. To, you know, us to be Chris uh, holding calls. Gonna be holding calls. Um, penalties all up and down the field. Um, it, that's just the first game. That's why they always uh, play. You know, the, the, the FCS schools the first first week because they know it's gonna be sloppy. Get all that out, but it's gonna be pretty much sloppy. Um, I know we're gonna win. Um, <laughs> so you know we're gonna win. Yeah, I know we're gonna win. That's that's without a doubt. Mm -hmm. um, but so I expect King to do his thing. I expect Cam to do his thing. Um, you know the normal players we know who gonna play. You know, uh, -huh. uh um, Brevin gonna do his thing at tight end. Um. Uh, 
Now the question comes, you know, who's going to be that one receiver that's going to be um, KJ or, uh, you know, who, Amar, whatever. Who's going to be the receiver that's going to step up and say, man, I got it. Yeah, I'm, I, you know, I got, I'm going to put the receiver core on my back, uh -huh. and I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think, I think this, I'm interested to see this. I'm interested to see this. This is the first time they've had a whole bunch of mental time. A whole bunch of mental time and not so much they was on the field hands on. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of mental going on. Um, I want to see how that's going to affect the game. Um, how that's going to affect the game that they mentally, when COVID was going on, probably was going through things over and over and over and over and over and over again. I wonder if that, if that can create a sound, a more sound game because you're mentally there, but vice physically. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times there'd be more time on the field. More time on the field, more time learning, more time competing. Um, but now it was, a, it was a lot of mental that went on. Remember, um, which coach was that? Which coach said, man, the COVID helped the players a lot. Mental, remember? Um, That's when they first started interviewing okay, them. Um, um, what coach said it? I don't know if it was Baker or it was... Baker, I think, said It was that. Baker, I think yeah. It was Baker that said like, that. The players said, are a lot more mentally focused now. Right, like, right. Um, right. I, I think, I, I wonder how that's going to affect the game. Because we always look at things that are traditionally done when they're... When, when the tradition is taken away and we do something different, we look at it as negative. And I'm like, maybe it wasn't negative. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe, maybe it, may, it may affect somebody like Noodles, somebody like, like Pope. Maybe it helped him out to get more mental time in. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and it may show on the football. But that, that's what I'm... That's, 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 I don't that's know, what I'm man. I, I, I don't know, because, you know... Um it, man, it ain't nothing, ain't nothing like the actual game. You know what I'm saying? That game... That game atmosphere is, is, is it's nothing like that. Like you can practice it all you want to, but it's it's a difference from the game, you know. Um, I bet you have never sat in a room, right, <laughs> and just mentally went over your game two or three weeks at a time. Cause you know they tell you that all the time. Visualize yeah, this, yeah, visualize yeah. that. You know what I'm saying, and all of that stuff. You, our, our brains are powerful. For you. you know what I'm saying. Um, I'm willing to see that. I I, I would guess that. Because I've been seeing a lot of youth football and some high school football, and it's been some sloppy stuff. You know what I'm saying? But they are not college football. They're not NFL football. You watch NFL Hard Knocks? Man, do you see the, you know, the resources that they have and the things they can? These people got monitors on that let you know when you're six feet close. Somebody. <laughs> close to somebody. Like, like, like these, these people go above and beyond to create things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but even so, like, even like the first week of NFL, you know, like, you it's have, be bad. Uh, be slick. Like, I mean, but like recently, like it, just look back on any first week of, of NFL. It's a lot, you know, it's, it's, it be sloppy. Like the first week always sloppy. Right. That's why even Vegas knows it. Like you look at the Vegas, uh, uh -huh. the bookies and you be like, oh, okay. They, ain't, you know, they, it, it'll be like 1.5, you know, uh, the Kansas City uh, minus <laughs> Uh, favorite by, you know what I'm saying? Nine over Texas tomorrow. <laughs> Texas ain't got, <laughs> they, got nothing, you know they got an offense, man. They, they got a favorite by nine over Texas tomorrow, boo. But yeah, games are sloppy, especially the first games of the year. But um, I want to see. It. I, I mean, just, yeah, I that's that's kind of intriguing to see. Right, if, if I want to see if it helps. Mentally. Yeah, it mentally, if, if if doing it over and over mentally, because we never. I listen. I remember one time. Listen, it's for everybody. Listen to when I was an uh, officer, an uh, inmate once told me like the inmates are in the cell we're outside the cell. inmates outsmart us from inside the cell all the time and i was talking to this inmate he was cutting himself trying to kill himself you know what i'm saying so we had to sit on him and watch him and he told me that he said yo you know what y'all disadvantage is he said life never stops for y'all you at work you get off work you go pick up your kids you go here you go home you cook you clean you boom you back in here he said he said, the fact that we sit in this cell and thought all day long give us the advantage over y'all. Think about that, dog. The fact that he sits and thought <laughs> all day long give him an advantage over us because we're never planning. We're never in thought. We're just acting. You know what I'm saying? You get, so you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and so they can outsmart us because he, all he has in that cell is his brain. And once you start working your brain, like, and so that's so that's that's what I'm saying. Like, mentally better at something, 
we never really test that in sports. It's always physical. It's always, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you, uh, the, the coaches test it. Uh -huh. <laughs> the players don't test it because, you know, the players, you got to go out there and you just got to, you know, play. Right. Now, the coaches, are they they supposed to be the ones who are mentally right. ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, that's why they give you, what, four weeks to prepare for a bowl game. The coach got to get mentally ready somehow. Right. If you're not mentally ready for that bowl game, you know, you're like, well, whoa, you had four weeks to prepare for this and this. And this <laughs> like, right, right. So, but the players, you know, the players, oh, here's the script. This is what we're doing. Y'all know the play. Da, 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 da. You watch mm -hmm. film. You know what I'm saying? Travis coming to my and preaching. <laughs> But no, man, that, that that's 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 intriguing. I mean, but 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 that's that's something I I, I want to see. I want to see how, how 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 it affects the team if we if we can see uh, the linebacker thing. I think yeah. I think it's going to be a lot of in and out anyway. Yeah, it ain't going, gonna matter. Going, who, yeah, it ain't gonna matter. Who. It's not gonna matter who started the game by the second quarter. You know what I'm saying? I think I think I think it's going to be a lot of uh, rotation. Um, I think that. Uh, in, Eno's gonna score against. He said gonna score against Louisiana Tech. Right, man, Ooh, we finna you know, score tomorrow. That guy was brain dead. They finna, <laughs> fool, listen, listen. We about to they, they, we about to score tomorrow. Fool. I, I'm I'm going out on the limb. Y'all can call me wrong all you want to, man. I think we got Superman quarterback, dog. Um, you know on Twitter I gave y'all a little tweet about um if 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 you know you predict the uh the exact score of the game, you know you don't got to be 35 or you ain't be be 20. It got to be the exact score. You will win a free T-shirt. So um, that's on Twitter. It's on Twitter. Um, got about almost four hundred replies. So I'm gonna go through after the game. I'm gonna go through each one. It got to be the exact score, not the closest, but the exact. Um, my prediction. I think it's gonna be forty-five thirteen. You will. Um, 45-13? 45-13, you, know, um, you know, uh, my defense is going to score, score probably a touchdown or two. Uh, King is going to do what he do. Um, well, I think he about to set Miami Cam on fire. Cam going to do boy. what he do. I think King about to set Miami on fire. Somebody said, man, he, um, he going he gonna, he gonna to score six times. No, seven times. Four touchdowns, three rushing touchdowns. I say, if King does that. Oh, King? Yeah, if King does that tomorrow, man, just, um, you know, <laughs> we're going to be in for a good season. I don't think we ever had that at quarterback. Listen, man, I, I, think, I, think, I think he's a bad, I, I think he's a bad dude. Uh, I told a story. Um, if y'all watching, man, hit the like button for us and share for us. And listen, if you're not subscribed, go and hit the subscribe button now. It's free. It's free. It's free to subscribe. And, um... My super fans, super Caneville fans, man, the ones who are, are, are joined, um, you can you can join the description. It's linked in the description to become a member. Uh, we get a member videos first. We release videos first to them and stuff like that. But um, but, but yeah, man, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I know um, you put the thad the thad um, interview out yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was something I said in the thad interview. I want to um, um, fix it. I asked him, you know, um, Chaminade is going for their fourth state title in a row. Mm -hmm. The West is going for their fourth state title in a row. And I said, I don't think it's been nobody to do that. And it has. Gary Bluestein said it has it. Miami Central did it. In a row? 2012 to 2015, they did it. Oh, we got to fact check that, boy. Man, I just seen a video and Central showed that all their states in a row. 2012 to 2015, they did it. Cause I asked, I asked Larry Bluestein the same question, and he said it's been a bunch of threes. He said nobody has ever. I did never it thought times. of it. And then when I seen it, <laughs> but, I was like, but wow. But somebody, but somebody said that in, in one of in one of the comment sections. They said Central did it, and I thought, and I was like, no. Nah. Yeah, I was like, nah. I'm, I'm thinking it was maybe St. Thomas if anybody, but it was Central. Um. So they, so they did do it. They did it. 2000. It's a video that um they posted. Central posted, um, a couple of their players posted and it was it had all their state championships and they were like, yeah, ain't nobody did what we did. We went four times in a row and won it. Seven out of the last ten times, you know, so seven out of the last ten? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I, I gotta fact check that because Larry Bluestein told me nah. Cause I remember asking him. 
But no, that's that's that that that's 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 amazing. Yeah, that's amazing, man. But nobody nobody was paying attention to that. What made you think about that? <laughs> no, I was just asking him because I was like, man, um, you know, hey, y'all finna win. Y'all won three in a row, so that means y'all finna actually win four. Y'all gonna go for four. And I was like, oh, so you know y'all in the West going for four in a row. Uh-huh. And I was like, well, hold on. It hasn't, it hasn't ever been done before. And he was like, nah, I don't think so. I was like, yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah, I, I didn't think. Yeah, I didn't think so. Sent you your favorite high school. Yeah. The Rock Boys. That's your favorite? That ain't your favorite high school. You ain't go to Central. That's your favorite high school? Who, me? Yeah. No, that's what somebody said. Oh, that, that's right. Miami Herald. Miami Central win four state football championship in a row. Oh, so 2015. yeah. 2015. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They did it. 2012, oh, 2015. They did it. So Central did oh. it. Yeah, so somebody has won four in a row. Oh, talk to them about Malik. Malik Curtis, man, I ain't gonna lie, that guy was outstanding last week. Man, um, I ain't know he was good like that. I will be the first. Somebody said Booker T won four in a row too. No, I would not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it. like y'all gotta show that. That gotta be a fact check too. I think uh-huh. it might be possible because they were in the lower class though. But I think some not gonna do it. Oh, Booker T did it the same year from 12, 2012 to 15. Oh, well, hey, we got two of them that did it. So, hey, Shamanard, West, y'all ain't going to be special. <laughs> it's been done. Booker but, T Washington wins record four state title. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Booker T is the central did it. So, <laughs> St. Thomas in the West, y'all just go join them, I guess. Man. Maybe they meant Broward. Maybe they meant nobody in Broward did it. Because Larry Brewster so. Larry, yeah, Larry Show told me that. Um, yeah, Larry, you the goat, man. You supposed to be on top it. of this stuff, man. <laughs> nah. Shouts out to Larry Blue. Larry Blue been covering high school since before I was even. Oh man, man, been covering high school since our daddy was playing. Yeah, school. legend, legend. But yeah, Malik Curtis, man, he has unbelievable speed when he gets the ball in his hand. He is fast. I'm tell you. Uh, what's my um? Marcus Clark. Marcus Clark, um, he, I haven't heard much about him. I know he got a, a interception in um, one of the scrimmages. Um, Going to be a good player. You know, um, I know they all pushing. The backup corners are really pushing the two starters. Like, they really pushing them, right? Mm. They, I don't even think they was ready to name starters at, at, at quarterback. Right. So... Who y'all think gonna be the first team to do five P? I mean, obviously it would be Shamanad or the West or something. Well, how many West got in the row? The West, the West got three right now in the row. They, they'll, they'll go for four. It could be Shamanad because of the yeah. class that they sit in. Um, I don't even know. I can't remember when it. It was close for them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Shamanad. Yeah, it could um, could be Shamanad. Shamanad. Uh, but who you got going for? Shamanai, Northwestern? Shamanai, the West, and I think. Somebody else won three. I KB think. KB St. Thomas. Champagne, y'all won three in a row? Who? Chabayat? Yeah. Two. Two? Yeah. Yeah, so it could be. It, it could be. I, I think Shamanai can get there. Um, the West's been so dominant, man. West was like, they about to get seven in a row. Yeah, it <laughs> looks that way. <laughs> like, they players been there, man. The way stuff looking now too, I think we're gonna have football too. I don't know how, you know what I'm saying? If it's gonna be modified, but it look like they hey. Yeah, high school getting ready to crank up. Shamana actually has a game on Friday, I might go well, check yeah. it out. Well the private schools crunk up. Yeah, I mean Shamana played Chapaya actually on Friday. Yeah, yeah. The private schools crunk up already. Um might have to go out there and check on our are you on um recruits commits out there. Huh? Yeah, some some are not some are not um already crunk up. Chaminade, Champagne Yacht, I think Gulliver got a season, American Heritage, uh, I think they got a game Friday night. So if you went private, like Ja'Cory Brooks, look at Ja'Cory, look how lucky Ja'Cory Brooks got. Ja'Cory Brooks leaves and go to IMG and scores the first scores touchdown first on ESPN time. for IMG. Do you got people, Booker T talk about, man, he shouldn't, uh, he shouldn't have left, what? Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, think, I talked to his dad the other day, man, his dad said he's 185 pounds now. 
Yeah, the man, they, they, they getting him ready for college. Cause yeah. he's, he's, he's graduating early, so right. he's going to be ready for college by the time he get right. the... Um, Booker T got another another big one in, in 2022 yeah. kid, I think, sophomore Adam Moore. He got another pro receiver in the shoot, yeah, man. Booker T, Booker T man putting receivers in, you know, so... Yeah. Um, man, I'll tell my homeboy who's an FSU fan. I say, um, I say you want to know something so funny, man? Ja'Cory... Brooks might be the best receiver in the whole entire state. And I'm talking about college and NFL. <laughs> like, man, I, was just, I was just joking. But <laughs> if you really think about it, like he really, hey, man, that man is good. Nah, he's good. That man is good. He, he, he good. He said in the whole state. Man, that man is good. IMG got some balls on their team. They man. do, man. <laughs> they do, man. Team MVP season to Corey Couch. He back, he back up, man. Yeah, they gonna keep him in the slot a lot. He gonna be a slot. Um, I'm gonna Asafasi said. All I know is when those teams play a team from the DMV, they got wax. Yeah, they did. You know, recently. Like, um, who, like who? Central. <laughs> they got wax. That team don't count. Fran St. Francis. No, it was the Ma- the Ma- the Maca. The Maca. Yeah, the Maca. Yeah, that's. that's who else waxed the team from down here from the DMV? Didn't, didn't Central go up there and beat the dog out of, um... No, that's when they went out there and beat Brevin Jordan and them in, um... Yeah, they beat them. But they went up north and beat, um... A team in Ohio blew them out. They went to, um... I thought it was Baltimore and beat, and beat somebody. Oh, St. John's. Yeah, St. John's, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. tell me, these powerhouse schools, man, these... Them uh, schools like IMG, <laughs> man. Them IMG schools, yeah, them schools man. man. You talking about public... School. We you talk about public school, public. Yeah, man, the DMV school. Man, you can't them, cut public school yeah, players. Them, like, them power. Them schools are like yeah, man. Them private junior colleges yeah. or something, man. Them, we our schools down here are public schools. Yeah, since you got whooped by the, yeah, we know that was a man. You seen that team? They old line was like three forty average. Who year was that? <laughs> that was like two years ago. You got beat by the mountain. Yeah, yeah, man, you, 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 shoot, man, St. St. What's the name? Francis? What St. Francis beat the heck out of, out of IMG. They whooped IMG behind, but then they went to Carlson Cali and got their behind whooped by a damn private school. By Ky- oh, not Kyler Murray. What's his name at, at Alabama? The quarterback. Oh, talking about Chase. No, nah. not Chase. Um, what his name is? Man. It ain't Chase. No, nah, no, nah, it ain't not Chase. Um. Casey, he no, got hurt the other day, didn't he, too? Um, the kid from Cali, yeah, man. Them and all, uh, yeah. Oh. They they whooped San Francis um, over there. Um, they, not De La Salle. I get them two schools mixed up not all the time. Not De La Salle. Probably was... Uh, they ended up being number one state. Bryce, Bryce. Um, Bryce Young. Bryce Young. Bryce right, right, right. Yeah, yeah they, they, whooped, they whooped them at the end of San Francis at the end of the season. Um, and they, they man. just... Picture this. Picture, um, picture Central, the West Booker T, Jackson, all being one school. They might not ever lose a game if all that team, like they, that's what them schools are. They got one big school in the area. Right, right, right. See, that's what a lot of people don't understand. Like our schools, like they're probably, are so close. These schools that we're bragging on, we don't even brag on the private schools. We don't brag on. St. Thomas and um, we're talking about public schools. These are public schools. Um, now, there's a lot of recruiting going on. It is. But they're public schools. I mean, some of them are bus ride away from each other. Um, Central is on 95th Street. The West is on uh, 71st. P- yeah, 71st. So it's like, first come first. on. That's around the corner. Then you got Edison over here. Right. Then Jackson. It, them schools are like literally within five miles away from each other. Public schools. You know what I'm saying? Public schools. Like I said, you can't cut public school players. So you got public school, you know, right. players on the team that ain't, might not be on the team. St. John's, the Matha, the Gonzaga, all fight for the local talent in the DMV era. St. St. John's, what are they like? What are they like? Prep schools? Private schools? Like- yeah, them be, yeah, them prep, preparatory schools. That they, they, that's what they, like, they specialize in that, you know, so... Public schools in Miami, as good as they are, they don't specialize in that. Like, it's nothing special about public schools. I'm gonna say they private, so they just regular private school. But something is different about them. They seem to have 
I don't know. I guess it is like a St. Thomas sort of. I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but and then so crazy, like Miami in Dade County, it's not it's not a private school that's like that. Like Pace was similar to that back in the days and they not. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a private school within Dade County. Now Gulliver is trying to build that down south, but right. it, it, with that you still got Palmetto. Listen, no Columbus. Man. You remember Trevante Valentine played with Champagne Yacht? Um, this man was so good. First time I ever heard a coach talking about it, they went up to, oh, they went up north to play against a team from, um, I think Connecticut. It's going to come back to me, man. Black team. And that was the first time I heard a coach talk about it and say that he don't care about playing for a state championship. He was like, the kids go to school, they play football, they go to school on a computer, like a warehouse, and they play football. And he was talking about how much money of D1 kids he's put in the school. He was like, man, we've put in $7 million worth of D1 kids in school the last three years, yada, yada, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And scholarships. I don't care about playing for a state championship. It was a black guy. Um, they, we was in Delaware. It was a black guy. Um, they beat the shit out of Champagne, uh, Champagne Yacht that day. But Mike Thompson and them, they went up there to get the, the blueprint from the dude. You know what I'm saying? They was trying to get the blueprint, basically, but from the guy. And that was the first time I heard a coach talk like that. Like, I don't care about a state championship. Like, that's not, no, this is big business. We're going to get the best players and we're going to do business with the colleges. <laughs> and that's what I think some of these schools are doing. You know what I'm saying? They're skipping the, the traditional rah-rah, let's win state, and they're going to business, big business. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the colleges, they're going to business with companies. IMG has like a, a good rate testing facility in the gym. IMG has like an Under Armour building at IMG. IMG has just built a hotel right by the parking lot of the stadium. I told our public schools this. Listen, I'm going to say it again. If you keep playing IMG and you keep letting... You see St. Thomas don't play them. Mary Heritage don't play them. Because it fucks with your brain, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, it meant, if you keep running up in the bully and he keep punching you in your face, eventually the girls don't realize you're number two. <laughs> and they're going to start pulling the Ja'Cory. They don't only got Ja'Cory Brooks. They actually took the defense alignment, too. 99. Um, um, from Booker T. Oh, you talking about the one that's committed to uh, yeah. LSU? Right. Oh, I ain't if know you that. Keep, if you oh. keep playing them, they're going to keep punching us in the mouth. And it's almost like you're letting, putting them on display. It's almost like you're marketing for. Northwestern made them come down here, and they came down here in them nice buses, them nice buses, IMG wrapped all over. Man, it's almost like you're you're showing, you're letting them market to your kids. All they want is the Jacory Brooks. They only want the best ones. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna get them. They been getting them every year. That, that means, but they. That's why, that why the state of Texas say they refuse to play. Only like, man, we're yeah. not gonna. California too. Uh, California yeah. cheated them. Um, the same team beat them by, I don't know why I can't think of this team name, uh, oh, I Bryce know Young team, the red and white team, um, D, 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 whatever the name is, um, they beat them, cheated IMG with, when they had, um, Taylor, the running back, um, and told Cal, not, don't come back to Cali, so they can't go to California and they can't go to Texas, and that's the reason why, Texas like, man, modern day, yeah, modern day, yeah, modern day, modern yeah, day, Texas yeah, like, yeah, man, no, yeah. Texas like, man, don't come over here fucking with our football, that fuck shit, you got from fuck up everything. Like, <laughs> everything we believe in. Alabama just built another school called USA, USA football team or something. It's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. So these powerhouse schools are, 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 are popping up um, around the country, and certain states are like, nah, we ain't going for it. Think about what IMG did to Manatee football. It's right down the street, fool. Yeah, Manatee, Brady Manatee, Manatee football. Manatee you ain't heard nothing about Brady Manatee football. Manatee used to have a good team back in the days, and now it's like man, yeah, nigga, yeah. you don't even know they there. <laughs> like, yeah, man. So, I, so, so it's it's a slippery slope. I talked to Central Principal about it. I was like, man, I don't think it's a good idea. But he was like, man, listen, man, they pay to play. The kids get an experience. They go up there. They get out of town. Some of these kids they never even been out of town. I understand that part. Um. I just think that if you keep doing it, they're they gonna start taking the Jacory Brookses. They're gonna start taking, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna start they're gonna start taking some of the top talent from down here. All Northwestern got going for it is tradition. That's it. I mean, you know, and it, it, it's I look at it like this too. I, I think 
it's 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 it, if the kids do, do chose to go there, you know what I'm saying? They have these just so equipped to send kids to college. Yeah. You know, like you know they what school what school in they equipped to send kids to college? What school do you know of? When you say equipped, what you mean? I mean like, IMG, they, 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 they feeding them right. They weight room. Right, right, right. Is, is, they other got so much. When it comes to weight and it comes to um, weight room and it comes to, they only go to school for four hours and then, like college, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's college. You know when it comes to those things, when it comes to putting weight on their bodies, um, regiments, college type of regiments, Central, okay, so you, we send kids to school ready to play all the time, but it's not what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they. I mean, they prepare them mentally, physically. Right, 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 mentally, right, right. Physically. They're not right. They go to school. They undersize. They, you know, what I'm saying, there's a lot of stuff yeah. they got to learn. Um, but you come out of IMG and you've always and you've been coached on that level. You know what I'm saying? You got a position coach for show. Sure. You, 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 you eating right. You working out every day. You got like a real college work, workout. Um, so yeah, so I mean, Central Northwestern. They've sent kids to school ready to play, but it's in a different way. Yeah, you know we, we sending them ready to play, but it's just, I mean. It's in a, it's in a different way. You know, the kids got to get used to waking up at 5 in the morning, going to practice, and, right. you know, uh, then after that, go to class, and then after that, go to the weight room, and then go to film stuff. Like, they, they doing all this already at IMG. You know, they right. not doing that at high school. Right. Go you know check it out, man. I, I interviewed Trey Saunders, the Alabama running back, when he was at IMG, and, and he goes in his regiment. He... He goes in and he talks about how what's a day of playing for IMG, and it was weird, fool. It was like football was first, and then it was like some hours of school, like three hours or four hours of school, and that was like it. And then the rest was football again, and so and I bet you that's just how yeah, college is. Man, you know look, what I'm saying? Uh, I, I thought about transferring to um, Oak Hill, Oak Hill, and, you know, they, yeah, they was like best basketball school in the nation, and man, and when I seen. I like, dang, boy, like, you ain't even going to school. You, you barely going to class, you know what I'm saying? You <laughs> right. go to class for the time being, and then this waste basketball, right. film, training, you know, all that. So, you know, it, it just, they got schools that's, that, that, that's ready preparing you for mentally and physically for, for college. And it's not bad, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the Mark, is mm-hmm. that you love that tradition. Right. Mark Jean says, answer this question, Central, Western, Kara City, Booker T, who has the best football legacy? The West. The West. The West. You gotta understand, the Central could not beat Northwestern. Yeah, back, forever. Back, back in the days, they had nothing. Forever, to like they couldn't no, they couldn't beat Northwestern forever. When our mom and dad was in school, Northwestern was beating people. At. So it's, it's it's Northwestern. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you why it's Northwestern, man. Um, and not not to take anything away from Central, because they when they travel the state, they travel large. But man, the West, it's like I, I got um a partner of mine, his daddy, his daddy went to school in the sixties, man, and his daddy still goes to the West games. He talked about the West games. I'm cra- like, man, it's, like they the alumni is, is crazy. Wild. The, the tradition is crazy. You got 60, 50 year old people. Go to the games like they in high school, man. The tradition is crazy, man. It is is and Central doesn't have that. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, Central whooped behind like what the last what wait a minute, like the last twenty years, that fifteen yeah, years yeah, Central. Yeah, yeah. Central been kicking behind. Yeah, since but no, like, man, it's, but it's not even close. It's, it's Northwestern by far. But and it's all tradition. And like I said, I, I don't know how tradition is gonna stand up against the likes of something like IMG. Um, nothing stays the same, bro. Nothing stays the same. Nothing stays the same. Things have to evolve. You feel me? Of course. You know, we see you. I'm going through a slump for so many years. But we, we, I ain't going to say we back. I ain't going to say we back. <laughs> this we, should be a good year, fool. It's that one, it's that year when you think, man, we ain't really got no wide receivers like that. Like, we don't, you know what I'm saying? Y'all test and that's, but that's the we crazy thing. We ain't really got thing, no superstar running back. We got, we got a five-star good. receiver in Mark Pope. We got a five-star receiver in Pope. We got a top receiver in Peyton. Um, we got... Like, I receive a court. They just ain't put it together. No, so. Yeah. No, see, we're, they're not proven yet. Like, they haven't really. Last year, they got some burn. They did some things. I know Pope could play. I've been saying it since day one. I know Wiggins could play. I know Restrepo could play. 
And I think what's going to happen tomorrow, they got that man in punt return and kick return. I think he's going to show out. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I know as a kid like that, when you had so much success in high school on youth football and you hit a, a wall, boom. He's a junior now, right? So that means for two years, he hasn't had the success that he's used to having all his life. That can take a toll on you mentally. You know what I'm saying? You realize, oh, shit, I ain't the baddest. Yeah, I, I mean, thought yeah, I was. Yeah, <laughs> not everybody else in college, right. they working just as hard to be. You know? Right, but I think he ready. I think they finna put it in his hand and they finna see what they got. I think he's gonna deliver, man. I, I, I know the kid. The kid works hard. I don't know if he's a weightlifter, but <laughs> I know he's good out there running them routes, dog. Yeah, he give him the ball in his hand. Yeah. He'll make some plays. That, and that's been that. You know, just give him the ball. And his offense caters to playmakers, so. We ain't gonna see no more seven seven step dropbacks no more. Um, no no play action. Uh, nah, it ain't gonna be yeah. fast. Yeah, yeah, man, we finna. You know <laughs> this thing be, be, thing gonna be fast. So if you're watching the game, wherever you at, don't be trying to go up uh, fix you another drink or go to the bathroom. We might have been a scold twice by the time you came back. Um, I, I talked to I talked to, I talked to I talked to today. So I, I talked to Philip Philip Buchanan today. Um. And just was trying to pick his brain. I was trying to pick his brain on how, 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 how do you defend a spread? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you stop it? Like, how do you defend it? And um, things of that nature. And he was just saying that basically, like, the coaching just has to be there. Like, like, like any coach can defend anything if he has the right tools in his head. You know what I'm saying? If he, if, 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 if he has the right tools in his head and they set up and they just fill all the gaps. That's what he mainly was talking about, about filling all the gaps, filling all the holes. Then you got to have a hell of a D-line. Right? Um, you got to have a good D-line. You got to have athletes because if they have five athletes, just say they, just say it's five receivers, mm -hmm. um, you really don't want to go man. Right. Because their they're, they're, they're third slot receiver on this side, whichever side, most nine times out of ten, your linebacker is going to be covering. Right. You, do you trust a linebacker covering? Um, no, you can't. Mike Harley or anybody you like can't. that? You can't. Okay, so... He don't want to go. Yeah, that's what he was saying. He was saying packages too. He was saying you yeah, have packages. to have, you have, to have these good. fast packages yeah. on the field. He said. He said. He said. But the but the biggest problem is we were going back and forth. He said the biggest problem is for any defense is a guy like King. He said that is yeah. the worst problem for a defense to have a guy like King that 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 can get loose that that can accurate that can throw the ball and get loose on third down and scramble for a first down. He was saying that's the biggest problem. At that point, you have to kind of go small sometimes to kind of corral him. You know what I'm saying? Because he could break your he could break your back. Period. Um, and that way, you, that's, and then now you go with okay. I got good. I got four good defensive linemen who could, who could go and rush the quarterback. Now I don't have to play man. I could play a zone. I could have one of these linebackers spy King. Mm -hmm. Somebody to spy him. Um, you know, like depending on how fast the offense wants to get the ball out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If they get if they want to get the ball out fast in the zone defense, it's not good. Right. Man defense is actually they they not gonna um, complete passes, but in the zone they'll complete them. Um I just can't imagine Wiggins and, and Pope getting the ball in space and not getting making off. plays. Right. Yeah. That's <laughs> It's it, that's that's you know what I'm saying that's that's unimaginable to me. I I I can't imagine yeah. I can't imagine King gashing their defense a few times and now it's like, all right, we got to defend our man and we got to keep one eye on this motherfucker. I can't imagine one on one, Pope in space, and him not getting off. Yeah, did you read the article that I sent you about what um UAB coach said about King? What he was like, man um. That's the challenge of the game right there. It's like, because you got a player who could really, you got, like, your defense was never taught to focus on the quarterback. Now right. you have a quarterback who could really Mike, drive your defense. Mike Vick the thing. Yeah, Mike Vick the thing. Yeah, yeah. you can drive your defense crazy. Yeah. So um, you can how do you guard him? Do you put all your focus on the quarterback? Because once you do that, now we got to play man-to-man -man with Pope and Wiggins and right. Carly. No, yeah, yeah, Carly. yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, but you got some coaches who can do it. Um, then you gotta have good athletes on the field, man. Because right. if you ain't got a linebacker that run with your quarterback, then that's just bad. You know, you gotta have a good D line, good pressure. Right. 
<laughs> and Jay Casey said Miami can average 38 to 45 points. They can go undefeated. <laughs> Somebody said, Casey, calm down now. <laughs> Yeah, we got Clemson on yeah, schedule. We, we do. We got Clemson, uh, what, week four or week five or something like that? <laughs> yeah, One game at a time, fellas. <laughs> One game at a time, man. So oh, don't forget, go on Twitter, post the um your predictions of the score. You know, if you get the right score, the exact score, you're going to win a, a free Caneville T-shirt on us. Right, right. So Twitter, Caneville 305, go check it out, man. Make sure y'all go follow at Footballville on Twitter, too. Yes, Footballville. Um, that's... um. You know, Footballville, Caneville, follow Footballville. We, we don't just give you Canes news. We give you NFL news, high school news. Right, right, right. Other team news. Right. Um, anything. Yeah, man. anything. Everything you live in Footballville. Listen, man, um, we're going to really get up out of here. Uh, listen, two things, man. The new Caneville t-shirt is out. It's out for everybody. The new Hell to the King t-shirt, Hell to the Cane t-shirt with a uh, parody of Darren King on, on front of the t-shirt. You can check that out. Footballville.shop.com. Go check the t-shirt out. Um, and if you want to get out in the stock market, man, the link is in the description. If not, just DM us, 786-405-9499. Uh, Y'all wake up in the morning, man. It's going to feel good. It's going to be game day. Uh, we don't beat this COVID thing. And, and we got football. Even though it's just entertainment, there's a lot going on in the world. Yeah, yeah. It, Listen, it, 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 it can take our mind off. You know, right. Them little four hours take our mind off of what's going on. Um, and it's good. We need it. Because we, we've been through a lot 2020. Man. This It's really been hard for a lot, man. Yeah, this is this year, <laughs> man. Well, Listen, somebody said, man, they gonna be, your kids and your grandkids ask you, Daddy, tell us about 2020. Man, gonna be COVID. Like, COVID. <laughs> it all started with a chicken sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm talking about chicken sandwich, man. Listen, man, losing John Thompson, man, losing oh, man. Aubrey Hill. I mean, 2020 has just been, like, just give it back. Thompson, bro. Thompson, to losing Thompson and Kobe Bryant, man. It, it, Kobe Bryant. 19, 2000, 2019, man, was a horrible year for me. Kobe Bryant died last year? In the Kobe Bryant died January 26th, my mother's birthday. Oh, man. We was what out eating. Year? We was out eating, and um, I got a notification, and I was like, why why are these people playing on my damn phone by Kobe Bryant? You know what I'm saying? And what? then everybody starts saying R.I.P. I'm like, hold on, what the like what? Kobe? Clay said what the chain gonna look like. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't even care. I about think it's gonna say man. Black Lives Matter, fool. Man, if he do that, he might win every recruit <laughs> in the nation. Every black recruit. He do something like Who that, he it? wins every black recruit. I heard him first screenshot. I think it's gonna say something like Black Lives Matter, fool. Or some of that nature, big dog. Yeah, it's but this, Black this Lives is a year Matter. of Black Lives Matter. I think it's going to He wins every <laughs> major recruit in the world. Like, that's a given. <laughs> every, everybody parent going to be like, oh, I'm sending my kid there. I don't care. I don't care what Listen, the man, y'all screen record this or whatever. I think it's going to say, I think it's going to say Black Lives Matter. Because I see, I see many of them. They own that, dog. <laughs> what people say, it's going to say Jack Boys. <laughs> Jack Boys. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I think it's going to say something of that nature. Um, there is going to be one, right? Yeah, it's going to be a, it's a new it's a new chain. It's new rings. Um, I think something's going to say Black Lives Matter because I, I see Diaz and Banda, and, and they really they, they really been on that, fool. So I wouldn't be surprised. Talking about a recruiting tool, I, oh, I, I, I wouldn't be That's... surprised. This is a year four. You get away with it. And then next year you can have some palm trees. <laughs> or some bastion again or something. I don't know. Man, that's a, just, just by you saying that, oh my gosh. That kind of gave me chills. I was like, boy, he do that. You got my vote for a president or whatever. What if a white guy gets the interception? Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. What do you mean? What do you mean? Funny. Funny. They, they, they walk anyway. They walk with us. Like, they, they in the streets with us, man. That's, that's, that's me to understand that. Black Lives Matter. Like, I don't think we got no white uh, DBs on our team anyway, so. Yeah, ain't no such thing as a white DB. Nah. No <laughs> white DB. I mean, Bo Bowen is the closest thing to that, and he black, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is a turnover chain, huh? Ain't nobody white to say that. I tell you, he gets the all live matter chain. We <laughs> not. That don't create nothing like that. <laughs> uh, we'll stick to the BL. But nah, hey. We, I don't know. I don't know. Um. Like I said, they you know we we haven't been getting as much access as we normally get, but no, who knows? It might be. But the first one was the U. Was no, the first one. Yeah, the first one was the U. The, U. the nastiest one was the three hundred five. No, 
No. It's only been two, right? It's been three. What was the other one? The first one was the U. The second one was the hardest one, the Sebastian. That was the best one. The Sebastian one? No. That was the best like one. The 305 one, boy. Yeah, 305. It just looked so. It looked, it just, yeah, it looked the Miami is <laughs> still. Like, like that, that, that Sebastian was busted. I got little, I got little videos of being this close to the Sebastian one, like when they had it in the, in the at, at when we go to the camp to the practices and stuff. But I kind of got videos of the Sebastian one. I forgot about the Sebastian one. Sebastian, then the rings. I'm, hey man, that Sebastian was the best to me. I felt like that was the best one. So yeah, man, listen, man, we about to get out of here five minutes after you did say, man, the turnover king. We about to get out of here, man. Y'all make sure y'all like and share and, and subscribe. And if you want to join and become a member of the iPhone. People is in the description because y'all can't never find y'all join button. Um, tomorrow game day, uh, football builder be in the house. Uh, X gonna go watch it somewhere else, but I'll be there, man. Listen, man, this, this is what we try to get across to y'all. Football builder, big dog, we, we, we're official. I look like a rapist on the picture. You know what I'm saying? I know I look like a rapist, <laughs> but we're official, man. We're credentialed with the University of Miami. Uh, my plan is to cover away games, two and home games. Um, I thought this year would be a year that they'd be like, ah, oh, no, black guys, we're gonna, it's gonna be distant seating, not too many media's coming, but we football bill, we put in a lot of work, and them people respect us down there, so yeah, they sent us to in FedEx. Um, we in so we we in the house football bill, we will be there, social distancing in the press room, which may suck. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy, like doing games last year. I, I I'm walking. Try to hurry up, get to to the side to the other side so I can record. And I can just hear people scream my name like Axe, Axe. I'm like, hey, well, I gotta hurry up, get back to this side. <laughs> yeah. So, man, we're official, man. We 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 cover the Canes. We're credentialed with the Canes. We're gonna try to get credentialed with a couple other schools. Um, cause it's business at the end of the day. End of the day is always um, about the business. So listen, tomorrow morning is going down, man. We may go live again tomorrow. I may go live. For, We'll see. They will, uh, may go live from the stadium. They were saying they, they got to control some of the lives and stuff at the stadium, but we'll see, man, what's going on. But yeah, I'm watching it. Um, I'm going to a little spot where I'm going to watch it. You know what I'm saying? It's not open to everybody, obviously, but, you know, the people who know me know me. You know what I'm saying? I already know where I'll be. Give me a score for tomorrow, man. 45-13 UM. 45-13 I say we wax them, man. I say that's wax right there. <laughs> yeah, I say we wax them, man. Forty-one to seven or something. I think it's gonna. Yeah, I, I see. I'm, I, I gave them thirteen because I'm like, man, they might score in fourth quarter when they they took everybody out, and that's. Yeah. But. Yeah, I think I think King. Thirty-one seventeen. I think King's gonna ignite Miami. I think he's gonna set set this thing on fire. Um, remember, you heard it here, sir, man. King gonna set it on fire. Black Lives Matter with the turnover chain. Footballville, man, we out here. <laughs>